Your wallet may not necessarily be lighter, but it certainly isn't being filled up like it used to. The Bureau of Statistics says the wage price index rose just 0.4% in the quarter. In annual terms, that's barely a 2% pay rise, the lowest since the ABS started recording this series. For many people, it's been a while since they got a decent pay rise. Probably about two or three years ago. I think it's a long time coming. I think everyone deserves to have a little bit of a fair break. The rent is getting up, the property rates are going up. It's because inflation is soft. Employers don't feel like uh, they need to give us big wage rises. Soft wages growth does have a flip side. It probably helps employers uh, employ more people. But they need to employ more. At 5.7%, Australia's unemployment rate is higher than the UK and the US. Because unemployment is, uh, is somewhat elevated, I think businesses have more of the, uh, the upper hand in wage negotiations at this time. For wages to rise, we'd need to see a fall in the unemployment rate. And we'll get the next official jobless figures tomorrow. We're looking for an unchanged unemployment rate. That doesn't mean employees can't ask their bosses for a pay rise. Start it as a performance conversation rather than a pay conversation. You're really going to need to make the case. So talk about how your performance has driven uh, an increase in the company's performance. Of the positions listed on SEEK's database, the biggest increases in pay over the year to April include design and architecture, administration and office support, government and defence, education and training, and consulting and strategy. Pay rises are more likely in industries where we're seeing a candidate shortage, so there's a lack of candidates, and also in areas that have high skills. Declines in pay were seen in mining, resources and energy, engineering, legal, marketing and communications, and banking and financial services.